I always work in series. Before this, it was Salome. And I worked a few years on Salome. Before that, uh, usually they've always been religious paintings. I worked on the Virgin Mary, the Ten Commandments. And uh, I started with the Twelve Apostles. First of all, that's why the paintings are abstract, because I want to get away from the religion and find out what this can mean. Here, first of all, the surface is very smooth. I sand between each layer. I let it dry, and then I rework it. But I also want to start with a very smooth surface. And so I'm very particular about my preparation of the canvases. The Belgian linen, it's some of the best in the world. I stretch it on my stretchers. You staple it on the back of the stretchers, and then I have to put a coat of glue, actually a protection, before I put on the gesso, the white. And that uh, creates a barrier. And so after the glue, actually, I even sand the linen because it becomes, it's still very rough, like sandpaper. And I sand it, and then the linen's pretty smooth. And then with a big knife, I put on a coat of white. Here you still, here you just have the first coat of white. So it's, it's still rough. Mm -hmm. and, and then this will have to be sanded. And then I have to put on another coat, and that will be sanded also. And it takes really a month or two to, to do all that because it has to dry. Uh, I've been looking now actually since the last series from 2006 I immediately started thinking what am I going to do next when this is over and it really has to be something that inspires me because I'm going to work on it a long time and I I just read that book uh, just because I wanted to read it and I go after I finished I go this is the best book I ever read in my life it was amazing and to me, it also represents everything that I've worked on. Uh, I think, I don't know, it's weird to say, but Don Quixote to me is like a, a, the Bible. So I just do this every time. You see, so the white is still, yeah. they're still coming through, you see? Yeah. That's all it is, just that. And as the painting builds up more and it gets close to me and finished, I won't sand anymore. I just take this. And I use this to, to scrape everything off the surface. And I remember we had a, a woman next door who painted. Her front garage door would be open. I walked by, see her painting. And when I was very little, I went in there with her, and she would let me paint a little bit. And then my parents found me an art painting class. And I don't know if you know Aaron Brothers Art Mart. It was a thing in Los Angeles, an art supply store. And they had a painting class. And I was. 10 years old and everyone else was an adult. It was an adult painting class and I started painting there. And he'd make us go into his little box of, uh, you know, like portraits, landscape, flowers and all that. And you'd pick out an image and you had to paint that. And so that's how I learned. And I think that's why I'm attracted to the, the, the old master technique also. That's how I learned. I always liked the old master paintings and um, I think my technique comes from that. I'm using the glazing. Uh, the building up of layers of paint, working with transparency of color and seeing through all the layers. If my painting started out to be literal, like this could be some type of form of a windmill, that's not what I'm after. Maybe I could start like that, but I don't want it to look like uh, Don Quixote fighting the windmill. I just really want to get what's behind that, what's going on there. Oh, well, what I'm displaying at the Hub, actually, is um, all the things I've been talking about. The studies from the Twelve Apostles, the Virgin Mary series, Salome, they're all things that I kept from all the series I've done. And I thought it was interesting for me to see that. Also, I mean, we have a catalog coming out at the end of this month, and it's also a chronology, an explanation of the last ten years of my work. And so it's interesting for me also to put these up in a, in a show and see what I've done. Jeff Kovach, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you.